Orangutans are critically endangered in the wild. But Chester's extended family of seven Sumatran apes is thriving. But there's one youngster who's currently feeling left out, the group's only female teenager, six-year-old Tutti. Tutti is very playful. She's kind of always up to something. Um, she's very inquisitive. She's quite tomboyish. She's usually sort of throwing herself around a bit. Tutti's mum, Subis, is one of the group's most experienced mums. And she's taught Tutti everything she knows. Orangutans in the wild, they have a really, really close bond and relationship with mum because they have a fantastic amount to learn about their environment, about uh, just how to survive generally. Tutti is nearing an age when a young orangutan would normally leave their mother's side. Tutti, she's coming up to sort of six years old now, so that's kind of the age in the wild when they may go spending a lot more time away from their mums. So they sort of go off into their own little patch of forest, isolating themselves a bit more. But Tutti seems reluctant to grow up. Tutti is going through adolescence. She's going through all those hormonal changes, and it's a, it's, it's a huge learning curve for her. And there's bound to be a little bit of wanting to play and still learning those kind of more adult behaviours. In fact, instead of becoming independent, Tutti's much more interested in playing with anyone she can find from her little sister to pestering dad Pulu, the dominant male. So Pulu has always been um, a really good dad with youngsters. He kind of tolerates them um, a lot more probably than he should do. But most of all, Tutti wants to play with the newest arrival seven-month-old baby, Kasuma. Orangutans are so, so intelligent and uh, naturally incredibly curious, so a new arrival like this is absolutely huge. At Chester, the female orangutans share childcare duties, and Tutti should be mature enough now to help out. But Kasuma's mum, Emma, doesn't seem to trust her yet to look after the baby. She wonders, like, oh, why can't I just sort of come up and, like, have put my face right in, in baby's face? And Emma's like, no, no, keep away. She might be absolutely fascinated, but initially she's got to watch from a distance before she can get, get up close. In a few years' time, Tutti will be old enough to be a mum herself. Certainly, Emma will be fully aware that hopefully Tutti will be lucky enough to have a baby of her own one day. And because she's got little baby Kazuma, will be more than willing to give Tutti the opportunity to learn those same lessons. But before she's allowed to do that, Tutti's got some growing up to do. She's really, really interested in Kasuma, and she's always trying to sort of get a bit of a better look at the moment. So Emma has sort of developed a few tactics to sort of keep Tutti a little bit at bay, doing her best to kind of avoid Tutti. Kazuma's mum, Emma, is a formidable security guard. But Tutti relentlessly follows wherever they go. Sometimes she'll sort of go up high, up a pole, so it's a bit of a deterrent to anyone going up, because if she's just sat up on top of a, a high pole, then there's not much room for anyone else to sort of join her. Emma does keep Kasuna so close to her that sometimes even yourself, when you come and look and go, has Emma still got the baby? You'll spot a little hand or something sticking out from underneath her hair. Tutti 
Suti will know when Emma is ready to trust her. She's learning orangutan social skills all the time. Tootie will know exactly when she can approach a little bit closer and when to back away. She knows there is an etiquette there, kind of steps in procedures of etiquette of how close you can get and when and how to read all those different behaviours from mum. Today, Emma is letting Kazuma go. But only for a moment. Tootie's absolutely brilliant. I mean, she's a very playful character, but she's, she's very gentle, she's, she's very caring. Emma won't trust Tootie fully with baby Kazuma until she's sure Tootie has what it takes. She is still young and she's still learning herself, but she's already showing all of those traits that would make her a fantastic mum. In Monsoon Forest, one young orangutan has reached an important milestone in her life. Tuti has stopped playing at being a boisterous adolescent and is reaching maturity. It's, it's interesting to see Tuti now becoming a little bit more independent, to see her kind of becoming a fully-fledged female orangutan. Finally, she is being allowed to babysit little Kazuma. With mum's blessing. It's like, oh, it's the first time I've actually seen her sort of having the baby. Tutti was actually carrying Kazuma instead of Emma having to carry her around. It is really, yeah, nice to see that Tutti's kind of got that trust off Emma. It's a sign that Tuti is now considered a reliable young adult. When she is carrying Kasuma, she isn't quite a usual Tuti self of like running around at like 10 hundred miles an hour and like flinging herself off rocks and branches. She is like very gentle with her and she's like a lot calmer and so that's really nice to see and it shows that she's learning and she's sort of developing and that bodes really well for the future. In time, Tuti will be ready to become a mum herself. So obviously the ultimate goal is that she will eventually have, have babies herself. So all of this social learning and picking up all those skills is absolutely vital in a young orangutan's life. <laughs>